the following anime is currently waiting for a home video release, and its manga's out of print. <sighs> what else can go wrong? Yuki. Hmm? Ah! What the fuck? What the fuck? Bitch, you're tearing up my hat. Why the hell are you cutting my hat apart? The opening's supposed to be playing. Play the opening. Play the freaking opening. She's, oh god, now she's eating my hat. Hello people, I'm the Anime Hero and I review anime so you can enjoy it. And I apologize for that insanity for this anime is very crazy, but the fun type of crazy. Featuring a crazy bi- <laughs> A very lovable girl. And on to the review. The series was originally based on a 12 volume manga, and is one of the few recent animes that got an accurate adaptation, except for one part that I'll mention later. But I will say it's a very good anime, for it's not just about survival horror, for it deals with romance, a crazy bitch, supernatural powers, crime, mysteries, a tournament, text messages, a sex scene, sadistic people, an imaginary friend who happens to be the god of space and time, parallel universes, and time travel. I am not making that shit up. Plus, giving you plenty of material for 26 episodes. Long story short, the main story revolves around Yukiteru. A social recluse who happens to make imaginary friends, and one of them being a god named Duels. Just yes, go with it. Duels then decides to hold a survival game tournament consisting of 12 contestants, in which the winner gets to become his successor and rule over space and time. And not to mention that Yukiteru is stuck by the ever obsessive Yuno, know, who easily steals the show. Trust me, you'll never look at pink haired girls the same way again. Well, assuming you haven't seen Elf in Lead, Cutie Violence! The rules of the games is as follows. Each person is given an object, usually a cell phone, which gives them a certain ability, dealing with C in the future, and the goal is to kill the other diary users. But, their identities are a mystery to you. Thus, you have to do some detective work. Also, some of you might be thinking, Hmm, have I heard of this plot before? Hmm, Death Note? Close, but narrow. Ah, now I remember, it's Eden of the East who had 12 members with jackpot cash cell phones in order to save the world. But hold on, is this a ripoff? Well, let me enlighten you with a segment. Now it's time for learning with the anime hero. The anime of Eden of the East premiered in 2009, and The Future Diary aired in 2011. But hold on, now while the anime for The Future Diary did air later, it was originally a manga made back in 2006 through 2010. So, who had the cell phone concept first between these two? And there you go. That was Learning with the Anime Hero. Tune in next time when learning your ABCs with C Major. Oh yeah, that's good. Uh, Gans, don't you want to talk about the characters? <coughs> now I feel sick, sweetie. Must be those damn fucking sandwiches you gave me. Well, it's not my fault the bread was from 2005. <laughs> Anyways, there isn't much for me to say about the characters, for unfortunately, most of them only last a few episodes. And if I were to talk about some characters with more detail, then you would know which characters persist throughout most of the series. As for the anime content, there isn't nudity, but there are some slight censorships, or at least the one I remember was an episode, um, um insert number here, for it was pixelated. Not to mention there's plenty of violence in this anime and a couple of scenes will be making you shout WHAT THE FUCK! However, this anime initially starts off as a survival horror game, but then quickly changes to a loony romance, then into a mystery, then into the realm of science fiction, and I have to say, there was a good twist that I did not see coming. Although I have only one complaint with the anime, for it didn't finish the ending. I don't mean the ending was changed. No, there was a few seconds missing. 
For example, let's say the ending of the product special ended with this scene, and then it showed the clip of Goku being found by Gohan, which would give this feeling of hope. Without it, it would give you a depressing mood. In the Future Diaries case, the anime ends with a depressing note, simply because they didn't adapt about one minute of animation. Because of this, when you finish the anime, you need to read the last chapter of the manga, and then you're done. Unfortunately, that's all I can really say about this anime, for I really want to redo this review. Now why is that? Well, that's because I really want to show anime footage of this series, for I really, really like this one. I haven't experienced many horror animes, but this was a very good one, and the reason why I haven't shown clips is because of Kadokawa, for they like to block my video for having anything of their content, especially right now when it's barely streaming and still doesn't have a DVD release date. So I apologize to everybody with the crappy content in this review. I mean, even Gans feels sick at the moment. Ain't that right, Gans? I fucking hate you, hero. <coughs> so, at some point in the future, I will redo this review. For I myself am not satisfied with what I did. I mean, I don't have a catchphrase in this one like NINJA SIRX! Hot lines for the win! Oh shit! Yeah. Oh wait a second, I got one! The character you know is a very unforgettable one, and trust me, she's very original. And because of that, I will dedicate this song to her. Hey, y'all crazy bitch, but you fuck so good I'm on top of it when I dream. I'm doing you all night. Trust me, the lyrics describe her pretty well. Oh, and before I forget, the main character is a bit of a wimp. However, unlike other characters, he does grow out of it. I give this anime an 8 out of 10. Why? Because the characters and story twists really work in this show. But I do expect a lot of mature content here and there. Plus, the anime gets better with every episode. So, Gans, how many points do I get? I will give you 30 points if you give me some Pecto Basimo. And the clue? Okay, the person who killed you is a Green Clan member. And with you as anime, but it's also a human. Okay, okay, that person also happens to like to play Yu Gi Oh! Now, hurry up and give me some Pecto. Also, to the studio in reference, if you're wondering why there's a Gantz ball here, that's the anime review. The anime Halloween trailer and all words for details of all the ongoing plots to speak. Okay, here you go. Hello, I have a package for Mr. Anime Hero. May I come in and suck your blood? I mean, uh, may I just come in? Ignore the last part. Oh, sure, I'll invite you in. After all, you do have a package for me. It's not like you're a vampire. 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 Oh. Ah! Ah, somebody help me, I'm getting vampire raped! And not the good guy with the sexy woman, but by a guy! <laughs> God, somebody fucking help me. Don't laugh, this is funny! I'm getting touched in inappropriate places! Guys, why don't you help me out? Give me a gun! Give me a freaking gun! You know, you guys here! Somebody freaking help me! <laughs> Next week's review is shit gay. In clan member, and with you as anime, but it's also a human. I mean, honestly, have you seen some of those people you, you freaking go out with? Like, oh my gosh. Especially some, you got a freaking panda in there, for Christ's sake. That's not even human. And a dragon? What else would you want me to do? Freaking different species you got in there. For their help. Ah. <sighs>